What do you mean when you say you do applied theatre? You teach acting, don't you? Why would anyone want to learn acting? Not everyone wants to be an actor. I think you have misunderstood me. Applied theatre is not about acting. Yes, it does involve some form of acting, but you see, I have used drama in the classroom as well as the prison. Some people, on the other hand, have used drama in hospitals, and even refugee camps. For me, it is used as a pedagogy. Drama is a creative learning medium. I use it to enhance learning and build knowledge about a subject. Okay. I use it to promote self-awareness and foster group cohesion. I also use it as a form of rehabilitation and therapy. I still don't understand. But I know that in some schools, drama is taught as an academic subject. But to use it as a form of therapy, that's ridiculous. Come here. Let me show you something. Just imagine I'm walking behind you. But I can't really do this because of technological limitations. So let's just imagine, okay? Okay. Imagine I am going to walk behind you. I am going to pretend to be your internal voice. I am going to say what I think you might be thinking or feeling. Is it okay if I give it a try? Okay. Ha ha ha. Let's see if you can guess it right. I bet you don't know what I'm thinking. Loser. Okay, does that sound right? Well, sort of. Okay, can you say it in your own words, please? Yeah, I think this is ridiculous. He will never be able to guess what I am thinking. In fact, I think he will lose this game, and he will appear like a sore loser. Ha ha ha. Why is he trying so hard to make me understand? There's no point in this. It's a useless exercise. Is that how you are feeling? Rephrase it in your own words and correct it if it's wrong. Exactly. He is wasting my time. Besides, not everyone wants to be an actor. So this is ridiculous. It's a bloody lame exercise. Say it in your own words if you agree with it. It is a bloody waste of time. In fact, I don't see the relevance to what we were doing. I feel like a fool. I don't even know why I agreed to participate in this exercise in the first place. Yes. I feel like a fool. I don't even know why I agreed to participate in this exercise in the first place. I am angry. But more so, I am afraid. I am scared to show what I am truly feeling. I don't like to be judged. It's true. I don't want to be judged. I have always learned not to show my frustrations openly. I've been told it's not becoming of a lady. And that is why I don't tell people how I really feel. And that is tiring. Very tiring. Yes, it is very tiring indeed. I have to put on a front whenever I speak to people. If not, people don't take me seriously. I want people to take me seriously. I want people to take me seriously. My feelings matter too, you know. My feelings matter too, you know. Okay, take a deep breath. Phew. I wonder. How did that feel for you? That was interesting. You just articulated my feelings. Do you feel understood? Yes. I actually do. Good. So, this is drama? This is what you do? I do many things. But as you can see, I have used this technique from psychodrama, called doubling, to help you articulate some of your feelings and thoughts. Sometimes, it is hard to know what we are going through emotionally. And by doubling for you, I, as a drama facilitator, am helping you to access those difficult feelings. You mean? By doubling for me, you are helping me to voice out my frustrations. Not just frustrations, but any feelings or thoughts that you might be experiencing at this moment. I see. But why is that important? Why do you think it was important for you when I doubled for you? To get my frustrations released from my system, right? Yes. But I think, more importantly, I felt understood.
Yes. You see, in a group setting, this is important because we want to build empathy. We want to be able to make real social and emotional connections with each other, especially if you are in a prison setting when people try not to reveal emotions. Okay. So, if you are working with any community, not only do you need to work confidently with emotional issues, you also need to work with them together to build connections. When there is group cohesion, it's easier to do anything. They can learn a subject. They can put on a theatrical performance. And eventually, they are empowered to suggest changes for their lives. That's how, I think, social change happens. That's powerful stuff. Wow.